Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you how to make your skin shader go from this to this with subsurface scattering. This method works for other objects like plants as well and I will teach you how to do it in both Blender and Unreal Engine 5. Okay guys, now we are in Blender and I imported this arm model right here. And let's switch to the shading tab. Also make sure you render this in cycles. And I set my device to GPU compute because it's a little bit fast for me. This process works in EV2, but you get not the best results. So I will show you this for cycles. Okay, you can already see the albedo on the left. And let's plug this into the base color. So this is the basic skin texture. And also I made a roughness map. It looks like this. Let's plug it into the roughness. And at the dark parts, this is where the nails are. So they are a little bit more glossy than the rest of the skin. And also we got this normal map with the normal map node. This goes into the normal input right here. And also make sure this is set to non-color so it works properly. Okay, and I placed the light in the scene. It's behind the hand right here. And now you can only see the light very slightly at the side of the hands. And I already set the subsurface color to red. And what will happen if we increase the subsurface is that light rays scatter through the skin. Okay, and this is already much more of a realistic result. And basically this would be the method you could use, but I also made a subsurface mask. And how this works in Blender is the brighter areas are the areas where translucency is and the black areas are the areas with no translucency. Okay, and let's plug this map into the subsurface. And you can see there's a little bit of subsurface happening. And if I go to this side, there are some lines. This is because I have pure black in the texture. You can see those lines if I move the hands around. And how to fix that is just by slightly increasing the brightness. Let's increase this maybe to a value of 1.1. And also we have to increase the contrast because otherwise this will look a bit wrong. Let's increase the contrast too. And now you can see from this side, it's a bit nicer and you only get strong subsurface at the fingers and not like thicker parts of the body. And with this subsurface approach, you get the same subsurface everywhere, I think. Using mapping is just a bit better if you have the time. And it's actually as easy as that. Okay, and now I show you how Blender 4.0 handles this. So we get that new principled BSDF and when we open that subsurface tab, you see there's no subsurface color. And what Blender 4.0 does is it basically mixes the subsurface color with a mix node with the albedo texture. And for skin, I would personally use this random walk skin and for other objects, just use random walk. And we set the weight to one. Okay. And for the scale, we got the subsurface map right here. And this will be just plugged into the scale. And also let's plug this into the factor right here. And this would be the setup for Blender 4.0 first glance it's a bit complicated but once you get into it it's pretty simple also you have this radius right here and what you can do too is just grab the hand albedo this goes into the base color and in blender 4.0 the radius is actually equal to the color so let's grab an rgb node and then you will see all the values in the RGB tab are actually equal, so we get this gray subsurface. If you increase the blue, you get more of a bluish subsurface. Yeah. And this happens more at parts in the face. In the face, you have a little bit more of a bluish subsurface. This would look something like this. 
but yeah for skin i would personally recommend having more of a red subsurface or the simpler method once you understand it is just using a mix node and then you can choose the color from there the anisotropy value right here just lets a bit more of the rays scatter towards you and you see if i increase this value there's just more light coming through the hand and it gets a bit brighter and isotropic would look like this so the light particles that come into the skin scatter less in the direction of the viewer yeah that's pretty simple Okay, and now you've seen how to do it in Blender 3.4, Blender 4.0, and now we can switch to Unreal Engine 5. Here we are in Unreal Engine 5 on the test map. I got the hand model right here. And let's create a new material and call this hand underscore mat. Now let's go into that and drag all our textures in. So the albedo goes into the base color, the normal goes into the normal, and roughness into the roughness. Let's rearrange this a bit. And now there are basically three methods you can use. So I will show you the first two very quickly. The first one would be subsurface profile. I personally wouldn't recommend to use this method because it can be a little bit confusing. So with this method, you have to set the opacity to one. So let's press one and left click at the same time and we get this note. You can also right click and search for constant and just get this constant note right here. Okay, let's set the value to one and plug this into the opacity. And yeah, that's basically it. You can't do much other than changing the opacity value so if the value is at zero, you have no subsurface. And if the value is at one, you have full subsurface. So let's save this material really quick and I will show you how this looks. Okay, let's apply it to the hands. And yeah, if I look from behind, I can't really see subsurface going on there. And yeah, it's not the best method. It's not clear subsurface. But there's a better method, especially for skin, and it's the pre-integrated skin. This works like the subsurface in general, but it's just a bit adjusted for skin. This method is good if your game is on mobile or if you want to save memory, but I would recommend the subsurface if your game is on PC and you want to have the realistic results. I will show you the setup only with the subsurface, because it's actually the same for subsurface and pre-integrated skin. Okay, let's press one again and left click at the same time and plug this note into the opacity. Let's convert this to a parameter and call this subsurface underscore strength, something like that. And now for the subsurface color, we will do a little setup. Let's press 3 and left click, convert this to a parameter and call this subsurface color. Again, if pressing 3 and left clicking doesn't work for you, you can right click and search for constant and then click on constant 3 vector and you will get the same note. Okay, now we need to right click and search for divide. The color goes into this input and then we need to press one and left click again, convert this to a parameter and let's call this subsurface underscore brightness. Okay, this goes into the subsurface color and with the setup right now, we have no subsurface because the values are set to zero, but we converted all the constants to parameters. So let's save the material and then we can make a material instance out of it. So let's close this tab, right click on the material, create material instance, and now we can apply the material instance to our hand. Okay, and let's go into that. So how this works now is you can pick a subsurface color. Let's do red for the skin, and you can see this happens. Okay, let's activate those two nodes and now we can adjust the subsurface strength. 
Okay, you see what's happening is you get less subsurface with a higher value. And the values only reach from 0 to 1, okay? So you can pick between those values. Let's set it to something like 0 0.6. And now let's also adjust the subsurface brightness. And I will describe quickly how this works. So we have the divide node right here and we have the color and if the color is darker you have less subsurface or you can pick a bright color and then we just dividing this by a high number so it gets darker okay and you see if we increase this number we get less and less subsurface i think a value of 19 is okay and for the subsurface strength a value of 0.6 and at the edges of the fingers you can actually see this red glow and we got a nice subsurface effect and this method with the general subsurface right here works for every material this also works for plants so in my last video i showed you how to make a material with translucency maps and i also made the same material with subsurface so there's this dandelion right here this would be the standard material without subsurface and I also made a subsurface version. And you can see it here, this works just the same but with an opacity mask too. Okay and here's the before and after in Unreal, this the before, this the after, you get nice subsurface effect and yeah, I hope you liked this video, if yes please smash the thumbs up and I'll see you next time, bye bye.